This was 99% impossible. The Toronto Maple Leafs were down 4-1 with 10 minutes left in the third period and had a 1.6% chance to come back according to moneypuck.com. First, Matthew scores off the rush in timely fashion, then just minutes after that Matthew scores again on a tip from a seemingly harmless shot from the boards by William Nylander, and then with less than 4 minutes to go, Morgan Riley ties it up with his second clutch seeing eye goal of the series, and it goes to OT. But for those of you wondering how it got to this point and who won, we have to look at the pressure applied by Tampa Bay to start. Tampa pours it on early, looking for a statement from last game's loss, then in overtime, it's Alex Kerfoot who gets the game winner and the Leafs come back on an insane game that genuinely shocked the hockey world. The Leafs now hold a 3-1 lead on the Tampa Bay Lightning and they head back to Toronto for a chance to close out the series yet again for the third year in a row. Now there are two ways to look at this. Either the Leafs are a different team and they're about to defeat their 19 year first round playoff curse or the Maple Leafs just unintentionally set themselves up for the biggest choke of franchise history. Fans seem to be so sure that this is the year, but one thing that seemed to strike me differently about this team was Austin Matthews' post-game conference where he acknowledged that there's still work to be done before the series is finished. Essentially affirming the work that they've done so far, but then also saying that the job is not finished and acknowledging that the hardest game to win is in fact that series clinching game because teams are hungry and desperate to stay alive. As much as there is reason to celebrate, the series is in fact not over, but I do believe if any year is going to be different, it would be this one for the Leafs, as they've certainly shown in this game that the offseason acquisitions of Samsonov and O'Reilly have most certainly been advantageous in the playoffs. The Leafs a year ago do not win this game, and even new players such as Matthew Nyes have played huge roles in this game. In many ways, this team seems as though they're ready to take the next step, because Tampa Bay is a very good team, and they don't often cough up leads like this one. This was an earned victory, and doing it against a team that's been the best at winning the Stanley Cup in the last three years is something that speaks volumes to the team's maturity and where they're headed in the future. But let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. Myself and many others alike, I'm sure thought this game would be over at 4-1. Comment down below and subscribe for more content as this is just the beginning of the channel and I'm really looking forward to having you join the hockey community. It's Cappy and I'm out.